Hi everybody, I'm Oliver from Blentus.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how I made a cinematic time lapse I published a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but a lot of people have asked for things like the glowing vertices and all that stuff. But I'm just going to focus on the recording technique because the glowing selections are just a filter added on the editing software. I also did some color correction and things like that. So for the recording, uh, well, it's not that difficult. You just need to know how to set up everything. And of course, it will take uh, some more time than the traditional time lapse, but let's go for it so right into blender the first thing we will need to do is to set up the camera movement All right. in order to do that uh, for this quick example I will uh, make the camera go around the model right just a turn around so let's create an empty just on the origin of the scene let's go to empty make it a bit bigger and parent the camera to the uh, empty with control B. Now we just need to rotate the empty for uh, making the camera rotate around the model. All right, so let's insert a uh, rotation key on the zero frame. Now let's go something like 200 and let's make it uh, turn about that's 360 degrees. Let's see if it works. Yeah, it works. Now let's take a look if the speed is okay. Alright. Alright. So now I have this. Uh, I'm going to uh, hide this on the second layer. Alright, now uh, we need to make uh, this animation to play on a different window. So normally I use the, a second monitor for doing that, but in this case I just will divide this window. So let's click shift and drag on this corner so the window is duplicated. And here we go something like this and here let's put in display only render okay that's it it is a bit bigger so it's easier to work in and now we should uh, press Alt A to play the animation on this window and we can work in this one as you can see okay now let's set up uh, the the software uh, I use for making the screen capture I used for this project uh, Hypercam which is free until version 2 so well just some tweaks need to be done for this. So select region, I'm going to select uh, this here for example and now in the API file we need to tweak these uh, parameters here. Uh, for the recording we are going to record uh, two frames per second and in the playback we are going to playback 24 frames per second. This will make our animation goes uh, something like 12 times faster right so we need to compensate this on the blender animation right so let's go here uh, let's stop the animation let's show up the empty and just go to the dope sheet select the, the last keyframe but put the cursor on the first frame so now press scale for scaling it and write down 12 12 enter and now we have our animation 12 times faster 12 times slower sorry let's go to there and so now 
if we press play here you see it's horribly slow <laughs> but when the when the video recorder uh, plays back this uh, 12 times faster the camera movement will be natural alright so having this done just open hypercam again just select where you want the, the animation to be saved and then let's click start recording and it's already recording so press here control space for hide the manipulator and alt a for play and now just let's start modeling just a quick doodle here Okay, so I think you get the idea. So, well, I think it's enough. So, uh, let's go to the hypercam and stop recording. Right now, we can press escape here to stop the animation. And I'm going to play back video. And here you have it. Let's see from the beginning. So, that's it. As you can see, it's not uh, so difficult, just uh, some things had uh, uh, to be set up before starting to model. Uh, you can use whatever uh, camera movement you want, just scale it uh, 12 times, or well, the number of times faster you want the video to be played. So, I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks a lot to everyone that has written comments on forums, Vimeo, Blend Dudes. Also, thanks to Blender Nation to publish the cinematic time lapse video. And of course, thanks to the Blender developers for developing a great piece of software like Blender 2.5. See you soon and happy blending! <laughs>